In this video, we're going to be using Taylor of Old Bond Street Lime Zest and the Blackland Vector in Titanium. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and I'm excited once again to be using the Vector by Blackland Razors in Titanium. I have really enjoyed this razor. I wanted to use it again just to see am I in love with this razor because it's new or does it really shave that well and is there a big difference between the stainless and this razor and down the line a little bit I'll compare them side by side but I just wanted to use this thing again because I've really been taken with it so far amazing razor we'll talk about that in a little bit but first let's talk about the cream for today this is Taylor of Old Bond Street Lime Zest and it definitely has a tangy zip to it you get the lime but you get some uh, almost woody notes let's put the Let's put the uh, notes on the screen there for you. Uh, lime and orange, lavender, tarragon, patchouli, cedar. So you get a woody element uh, to it as well. It's somewhat herbaceous. Very, very nice scent. And we've made a nice lather with it in our Captain's Choice bowl today. No problem whatsoever lathering it. I got it at the Razor Company. It was $18.99 for 5.3 ounces or a good price of $3.58 on our cost chart there. And I'll show you the ingredients right there. The consistency on the soap is a cream. It's very, very, very soft, but it still lathers okay despite being soft. Although when it's super, super soft like that, the value probably goes down a little bit because you'll tend to use more product than you would if it were a harder soap. So there is that. The razor again today is the timeless, or excuse me, not timeless, <laughs> the Blackland Razors uh, Vector, which is truly a uh, masterpiece as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's the best artist club shaver that I've ever used. Um, whether you're using the stainless steel or titanium, it is fantastic. It's so nimble. It's got that small head. The blade in this one is the Schick P, what is it called? The Schick Proline 130 or something like that, or Proline 30. I'm, I don't know. When I hold the, the vector here in titanium, I just lose my faculties. <laughs> anyway, this is not an inexpensive razor. This retails for $330. And of course, this one was sent to me by, uh, Shane to try out. It's brand new. It's available for pre-order. I will link that uh, down below. This is grade five titanium. I'll show you the specs and blade compatibility right there on the screen. Uh, Shane lists it as five out of 10. I would go probably six, 6.5. Um, I think in aggression out of 10. It's an efficient razor, but it's not menacing and it is fantastic. Absolutely have loved it so far. All right. Let's get into it. We're just going to miss the face here. 24 hours of growth. And before we get too far in today, I want to mention something because Kim Gray reached out to me yesterday and she wanted me to thank you all for your support with the Warrior Soap. It really meant a lot to her. It touched her. It lifted her spirits. So thank you very much on behalf of Kim. Um, it was very important to her that I <laughs> let you guys know that it really meant a lot. And it's definitely lifted her spirit. So thank you so much for helping out with that charity. We really appreciate it. And Kim is most grateful. And it really, uh, it made her feel good that, you know, people were willing to, to reach out there and support um, not only her, but to, you know, put that illness on the map, um, which is mesothelial, I can't say it. Mesothemiola. Oh man, that's hard for me to say for some reason. I get tongue twisted every time. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. You see the commercials on TV <laughs> with the law firms. That's what she has. And, you know, it's it's been a tough road and she thanks you so much for your support. And also I want to mention, I mentioned this in the unboxing that I did yesterday. My uh, mother-in-law was readmitted to the hospital um, on Monday evening she's really struggling so your thoughts and prayers would be appreciated my mom is hanging in there of course i'm down here with my mom you know helping her out and she's hanging in there but my mother-in-law is really taking a turn for the worst and you know we're they're fighting to save her life essentially at this point and but we're hopeful and so we'll we will remain so boy we've hit been hit with a lot of illness this last year um my family has been really hit with it hard and you know there's people like Kim who, who are going through it as well and I know almost all of you have probably had that experience at one point or another so we just keep the faith and 
and uh, press on. So thank you for all your support and prayers on that as well. Okay, let's get into the shave. Oh man, Whew. very nice. When I use the vector, it just feels so nice and no pressure. Um, one of the things that I've been thinking about when using this, because this is light, this is titanium, it's lighter than the stainless. You might have a tendency to want to apply more pressure. I don't think it's required. I think this, um, I think this razor works fine with very little pressure. Nice. Know if you can hear that. Very nice. It cuts really, really well. And of course, assuming you have a good blade, this is the third use on this blade, and it's well within within its lifespan. These Artist Club style blades last a good while, typically. Oh man, that's nice. I could just keep going and going and going. <laughs> just feel, feels fantastic. So you don't really need to apply a lot of pressure. Obviously you have to apply enough pressure to keep the razor on your face and keep it cutting. But I'm finding that you don't need to bear down despite it being quite light. That's a tendency that some people have is um, when they use lighter razors, aluminum and sometimes titanium, they will bear down and then it leads to rough shapes. Think of this one, sort of like a squeegee on a glass. You just put enough pressure to remove, you know, the water. You're just sort of holding it on there, but you're not, you know, putting a lot of pressure. So. If you get this razor, and I know a lot of people told me they uh, pre-ordered it, and I can't wait to hear what you think about it. You don't need to use a lot of pressure. It will do its job. Just get the blade in contact with the whiskers, and uh, the vector will certainly do its work. Man, very nice. It will certainly do its cutting. And to me, it just sort of reminds me of a squeegee. <laughs> just flat out erasing those whiskers. Oh man, that was excellent. I, I'm in love with this razor, of course. I love the stainless steel too. And honestly, I don't know if this will replace the stainless razor. I'm, um, the one thing I want to do is try an open comb plate because they have the um, the vector uh, with an OC plate and stainless and I think I might try that plate with my stainless and see how I feel about that. I've never tried the OC version yet. I need to buy that and uh, give that a go. That would be nice. And then that might uh, lend itself to me keeping the stainless razor and, and getting a uh, titanium. We'll see what happens on that front, but man, so far I've been really enjoyed the heck out of this razor. In the Tobbs um, cream, some people say they dry out their skin. I do not have that problem. It doesn't dry me out. It lathers easily and readily. I consider Tobbs to be a classic brand, although the lime zest is not a classic scent because it's not that old, maybe of what, a year or two? can't recall. It's not, this scent hasn't been around, but Tobbs has been making shaving creams for a long time. So it's a classic brand that's a highly available. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it anywhere, just about all over the world. Classic name in traditional shaving. And it's good stuff. I really enjoy using it, as you can see there. No problems with the lather, plenty of lather there. I could actually use a little hydration. It's a little on the thick side, but it will work just fine. And man, we're certainly fortunate to uh, be trying out the Vector again today. All right, let's go against the grain here on the neck. Or actually, it's across. I always forget that. On my neck, the grain runs this way. So whether I'm going down or up, it's across the grain. Against the grain would be this way, which I don't do because that just leads to problems. And one of the things you have to do as a traditional shaver is just learn what your face will and will not tolerate. And my face does not like that on my neck. <laughs> it just doesn't. And so we just do three across the grain passes. Oh yeah. 
That's feeling great. So my feelings about the TI Vector are the same, still superb. Again, um, and I stand behind this, having tried quite a few Artist Club style safety razors. I think the Vector, whether you're getting stainless steel or titanium, for me, in my opinion, the best Artist, Artist Club shaver safety razor ever made. It just, it's unique, it's innovative, and most importantly, it shaves great. It's got some good efficiency to it, but it's still smooth. And it's got a great combination of efficiency and smoothness, which is, that's really where you want a razor to be. You want it to cut very effectively, but you want it to be smooth. And the Vector pulls that off very, very well. And that was nice. So it's one of those razors that's a pleasure to use. And uh, a few years ago when Shane first came out with the Vector, he sent one to me and allowed me to give it away on my channel. And I can't remember who won that razor, but I hope you're still enjoying it. And I never got a chance to go back and revisit it until uh, last year. And when I did, I was like, what took me so long to buy this razor? It's phenomenal. And so now, you know, it's one of my absolute favorite razors. Um, it's fantastic. It's kind of hard not to pick it up all the time, to be honest. It's one of those sort of razors. And I have several razors like that, that I could easily pick them up day after day and be happy with them. But we do like to, uh, we also like to experience a lot of different things. Part of my, uh, Enjoyment is just trying different things to see what works best. But you won't get much better than the Vector, or at least for my use case, it's, it's perfect. And here we are shaving on the residual slickness of the tops, which is quite good. Great scent on this, robust. Um, the scent strength on this is probably medium high. Man, and the, the Proline blade in here is very, very good. Wow, that was just a fantastic shave. Once again with the Vector, so no change. I'm still loving it, but I still love the stainless version too. The stainless is no slouch, just because the titanium came around. I don't think it's made the stainless obsolete. Like, you know, oh, the stainless is old and busted. You know, I'm not gonna use that anymore. No, stainless is still awesome. And so I look forward to at some point when I get home, putting them up side by side and sort of, you know, getting a feel for how they feel when you're using one on each side of the face. Whew. Man, that's nice. I can't say enough good things about it. Awesome razor, awesome shave. All right, let me rinse, then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off game. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap, and then we applied our Razor Rock Alum. No stinging, so super smooth shave. Once again, following the Alum, we did a cold water rinse and then toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel Magic because it's made by witches. And an excellent shave today with Tob's Lime Zest. Nice, spicy, herbaceous sort of uh, lime. Great pop to it. I really enjoyed it. And I had some great residual slickness with it um, as well, so I had a great shave with that today. The Vector, Blackland Vector in titanium is absolutely superb. Um, I love this razor. It's fantastic. The stainless is fantastic too. It's going to be really interesting to use them both side by side because I think they're both going to feel superb. So as far as Artist Club safety razors go, this is the, by far the best one I've ever used. This one or the stainless, they're both superb in my opinion. We used our AP Shade Co. brush, and it's sitting in our Lancaster brush soaker with our Captain's Choice bow, and we shall finish it out today with, we're still using some of that Declaration bandwagon sample that Chris Garcia sent me. Thank you again, Chris. I'm trying to use this up. I do have a bottle that I, I found that last year, they still had some in stock of small flower um, at the time. I think they've since sold out, but I, I do have a bottle at home, and this is a magnificent barbershop scent. In fact, it's my favorite barbershop scent of all time, Declaration Bandwagon. Unfortunately, it's no longer made, so that's a bummer. 
What's not a bummer is you folks. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, sure shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.